Right, hello everybody. Hope you're all having a cracking day. Uh, lovely and sunny in Derby here. Derby here? I meant here in Derby. Yeah, it's been gorgeous today. Uh, I've just been to Alveston Park. Uh, I thought I'd take my little drone for a fly. Thankfully, when I got there, uh, there was no kids, or the kids had literally just finished school, so they would have been going home or whatever it is that they do. Uh, by the time the battery ran out, the kids started arriving. Uh, bear with me a moment. Looking at a load of traffic, I'm going to be caught in all the work traffic on the way home, which is lovely. Here we go, here's a gap. Right, anyway, yeah, um, do me a favour if you can, have a look at this video, check out my other videos and let me know what you think to the quality of it. I thought I would try out the 2.7k option on the GoPro Hero 4 Silver. Uh, something I've not actually tried properly yet for a full recording like this, um, just because I assume that the, um, I assume that it would take up a stupid amount of space. Which it probably will, um, but I've got a Mac, so it's all right. I can. I've got the processing power to edit it. I just never have edited it before. I've not tried it. So yeah, um, the only downside is I don't get super view. I only get the normal standard wide GoPro view, which I'm not too keen on. I've, I really love that super view. Just the fact that you can see bloody everything. So this video may look a little bit more zoomed in than my other ones um, because I've got one on my front of my guard and I've got one just here. So I just thought I'd give this a try to see what it's like. You never know, if I, uh, if I like the quality over 1080p super view, I may start using this even more. Anyway, uh, coming from Alveston Park, um, I thought I'd fly the drone a little bit. I didn't break any laws. Um, I followed all the all the guidelines that were necessary, and yeah, I was completely safe. But yeah, some people still insist on coming over to you and give you their version of the law, what they seem to think it is, um, which it isn't. Half of them are wrong. Half of them just make this shit up, um, or they see it on TV or hear it from someone else and assume that that's what it is. Oh, it's bullshit. So afterwards, I've recorded a little video that um, that that will just tell people um, actually what the law is. And I I stood there, sorry, and I uh, read it from the CAA website. Um, they're the ones that actually write the laws on air traffic and air use. So I've read it out, and hopefully other people can follow it. Um, those are just thinking about buying a drone or those that have bought a drone and they're still unsure where they can actually take it and what they can do with it legally. Uh, due to my nature of work I, I kind of have to be legal with everything which can be a pain sometimes because I would love to just take this drone and start whipping it around here but and get a bird's eye view of all the houses. But I can understand why the laws are in place though, it's something I drops out and lands on someone's roof that's going to cause some serious damage. Well, even if it falls out, oh, I doubt it's going to fall out of the sky, but if it did, and it landed on someone's head, uh, it's more trouble than it's worth. I think people are getting more serious with it now, especially the authorities, because there are a lot of idiots actually out there buying them and doing stupid shit. They're going out there and flying it across the roads and flying it above football stadiums when the match is on and just generally being dicks. So yeah, I think I think that's why all these laws are coming into place because there's so many dicks that are actually out there just buying them, flying them, crashing them, doing harm or putting other people at risk. Which is, just seems to be making the situation a lot harder for people like myself that have bought it for enjoyment or potentially in the future I would like to 
use it for commercial work, actually in, bring it into my business and offer it as a service. But that's not something I can do if I can't have the time to sit and practice with it and try and decide whether it is something that I really want or not. They must have known I was coming, there's a massive gap for me. Oh, on a super view, this would have looked awesome. Oh well. That's uh, nearly all the traffic skipped. Oh, I don't know why this is wanting me to go left. Uh, I'll get rid of it. Yeah, so aerial photography. You know, it's brilliant. Right? Actually, put in, actually get having something in the air, flying it around, and being able to see. See stuff that you wouldn't normally see. You'd only normally see it on TV or see it from a helicopter. And the footage you can record, you'd only normally get from a helicopter or a hot air balloon or something stupidly expensive. So, yeah, it is really, really interesting. Oh, I don't know if you can hear that, but that's a gorgeous Harley that's just gone past. Yeah, so if you can afford it, and it's something that you wouldn't mind doing, go and pick one up. It's absolutely brilliant. I'm going to be taking this one up as soon as I've got a second battery. I'll be taking it somewhere in the Peak District so I can actually fly it around. I'm not I'm not riding an hour, an hour and a half just to go and fly something for 15 to 18 minutes. So I'm looking forward as well to seeing what this footage has come out like. Because I only had 14 minutes of flight and I spent a lot of time going up and down rather than flying around. Uh, what I did, I got there first and I put a 64 gig card in just because my, I was my other one had not emptied it yet. Yeah, so I put a 64 gig card in, got all the way down to the park at like, it was like 2 3 o'clock or something like that. Forgot the uh, well, I forget. Sorry, and uh, the card just didn't work. Uh, I didn't think of checking it beforehand. The actual drone don't accept. The drone don't accept 64 gig. So I had to come all the way back home, get my 32 gig, put it in, format it, come all the way back down, and I'd already took it up and flown it around once just to see what the view was going to be like. So that took a few minutes off of my time. I put it on charge for a couple of minutes at home, but that don't really do much. The site says that it's supposed to take just over an hour to fully charge, but mine don't. Mine takes about two and a half hours. So, yeah, I need to get another battery, but they're 85 quid each. Oh, Fucking okay, no, hell, look at that guy's exhaust. <coughs> God. It's stopped now. I breathed all that in as well. I just got in my bloody eye. It's as if it was like soot or something coming out of his car rather than just smoke. Yeah, and then so what a lovely day. So what I think it is, I think it's been so warm and lovely because the spring has been so shit at the start that it's just trying to catch up with itself, giving us a bit of nice weather before all the rain comes back. Like, I mean, this morning was so foggy and misty. And the nights have still been bloody freezing. I don't get it. Well, then I'm probably not supposed to get it. Mother Nature is a bitch and all that. <sighs> oh, I'm bloody tired. <sighs> I can't believe the Hero 4 has been recording for 14 minutes already. 
Only it takes about six, seven minutes to get here. See, I could nip to the front, but I know that Audi's just going to shoot off and be a cock about it. So I'll just stay back. Stay back and stay safe. Hmm. She's cute. Fucking oh, hell. I don't think I'm going to be doing many of these uh, motor vlogs in the summer. My face is roasting. I mean, it's not like I can go and lift the front of my uh, helmet up because I've got this mic attached to the front. What a cock. So I still need to get my bloody exhaust fixed. My gasket arrived. I, just I don't want to put it on myself. I'd rather someone else put it on that knows 100% what they're doing if it doesn't sound right or if it doesn't fit right or... Alright, so I'm going to go home. Get this footage on my computer. It's probably take about 20 minutes or something. And then get my ass off to Asda. I literally have no food left. Well, I have some pasta, but nothing to go with it, so... I'd go on the way back now, but my bike's full with my drone and camera and gloves and GoPro shit. Before coming down here thinking we're going to skip the traffic, well, that just depends on how long, uh, how long it's going to take us all to get through these lights. Oh, where's my button? There it is. Oh. Got a bloody itch on my nose. All right, someone needs to invent a helmet with aircon. One with aircon and one with heating. Stay on for me. Oh yes. And I'm through now and it's just gone to red. Oh bless, I think that kid's had a bit of a bump. You know, what's he doing? Alright, let's see if I can skip this. Oh, it's going to be bumpy footage. Oh, I think I'm going to go so, uh, so far ahead. I'm sure that they've got uh, work cones around here. Right in the middle, that's fine. I still don't know why them cones are there, though. They're just there. <laughs> it seems to be pointless why they are there. See, that E's got the right idea. Us bikers, we like it at bikes. We like whipping around on them, not sitting in traffic. But you still got to sit in bloody traffic when it's not safe to, not safe to filter. And then those buggers, them cyclists, they get their own lanes. We should have that really. Okay, now 18 minutes. Uh, battery's going to die on this one. I 
dim lights have just let one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cars through. Let's see how many they're from that side. One, two, three, four. Well, coming from the left there, it's just over 10 so far. Oh, I'm sorry, i got to keep my visor open, that wind's lovely. Uh, keep going over these bumps and it's making me sound like my voice is breaking all over again. Because I'm becoming a man. Yeah, so you gotta be nice now and then and let people out. It's karma, you see. Karma always comes back round and bites you in the ass. So, it's nice just to be a bit courteous sometimes. But unless you're in a hurry, then it doesn't count. Karma kind of forgives you, I think, if you're in a hurry. I'd tell you, I'd piss myself if he fell off that bike. when I get in. Either a nice coffee or a mocha. Oh yeah, and no, I'm definitely gonna be a uh, definitely gonna be posh and have a mocha. How many times can I say mocha before it starts annoying you? Mocha mocha mocha. Thank you for watching the video, I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget if you liked it to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Also, if you want to watch one of my previous videos, click the link above.